Hello and welcome to Decoded Medicine, where we learn the concepts of medicine. Today we'll answer the question, how is the genetic material organized within the nucleus of the human cell? To answer this question, one needs to understand, what do you mean by genetic material? What is the genetic material of a human cell? Is the human cell eukaryotic or prokaryotic? And then understand how the genetic material is organized within the human cell. Genetic material is the hereditary substance in the cell. Hereditary means that it is transferred from the parents to the offspring. And it carries all information specific to an organism right from the color of the hair to the number of toes in the feet. All information specific to an organism is present within the genetic material of the cell. Genetic material of a human cell is the DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid is made of two strands that are linked to each other and wind around each other resembling a twisted ladder and this shape is also known as a double helix structure each of these strands has a backbone made of sugar phosphate molecules the sugar molecule in dna is deoxyribose sugar attached to each sugar molecule is one of the four nucleotide bases it could be adenine guanine cytosine or thymine that's the structure of a dna is the human cell eukaryotic or prokaryotic well it is eukaryotic why do you need to know that? How is it relevant to this question? Well, the human cell is a eukaryotic cell and eukaryotic cells contain a nucleus and organelles that are bound by plasma membranes. And it is this nucleus which contains the genetic material of the cell. Whereas in prokaryotic cells, there is no nucleus or organelles, so the genetic material or the DNA just lies within the cytoplasm of the cell. Whereas in eukaryotic cells, the genetic material is present within the nucleus of the cell. And you need to understand how the genetic material is organized within the nucleus of the cell which we will learn in the further slides. How is the genetic material organized within the human cell? Well, within the nucleus of the human cell, DNA is wrapped around proteins known as histone proteins to form nucleosomes. The nucleosomes then stack together to form fibers called as chromatin. The chromatin is then tightly coiled and condensed together to form the chromosomes. And that is how DNA is tightly packed within the nucleus of the human cell. In this picture, the DNA is represented as the gray coiled structure and the histone proteins are represented as the blue round structures. And you can notice that the DNA is wrapped around histone proteins to form the nucleosomes. Each nucleosome contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 histone proteins. There are 8 histone proteins in each nucleosome. So you cannot see the number very clearly here, but that's the number in each nucleosome. So basically, the DNA coils around eight histone proteins to form a nucleosome. And many such nucleosomes 
you can see here many such nucleosomes are stacked together to form a chromatin. This thing together is a chromatin. Many nucleosomes are stacked together to form fibers known as chromatin. And the chromatin is further coiled and tightly con condensed to form a chromosome. That is how the DNA or the genetic material is condensed and tightly packed within the nucleus of the cell. To summarize, DNA is wrapped around histone proteins to form nucleosomes. The nucleosomes stack together to form fibers called chromatin. The chromatin is further coiled and tightly condensed into chromosomes. The chromosomes are organized within the nucleus of the cell. Each nucleus contains multiple linear molecules of DNA that are organized into 23 pairs of chromosomes. Of these 23 pairs, one set comes from the mother and the other set comes from the father forming a total of 46 chromosomes in a normal human cell. And this is how the genetic material is organized in normal eukaryotic cells, including human cells. Summarizing one last time, the double-stranded DNA molecule winds around histone proteins to form nucleosomes and many nucleosomes stack together to form fibers known as chromatin and the chromatin fibers tightly coil and condense together to form the chromosomes. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful. If you like the video, do click on the thumbs up, comment or leave your feedback, share it with your friends, Kindly subscribe to support the channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Until then, happy learning!